All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now November 19th. The election happened on November 5th. So why in the hell are Pennsylvania, Arizona, California still counting ballots to determine elections? I mean, it, can anybody answer that? Why? I mean, here in Florida, the election ends. Two hours later, we know the results. It's not hard. Well, I'm specifically going to focus on Pennsylvania in this video, and that's because of what's, what's happening in the Senate race between Bob Casey and Dave McCormick. See, Dave McCormick has won this election. But a county in Pennsylvania is counting votes still. In fact, they're counting ballots, votes that the, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has said are invalid and adding them to the total. So this story from the post-millennial, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Democrat, defends county seeking to count ineligible ballots, cites lack of legal clarity. Okay, hold on, time out. When the Pennsylvania Supreme Court puts out a decision saying that you cannot count X votes, they're, they're not allowed to be counted, they're, they're illegal votes, but yet you're stating lack of legal clarity? Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one reason why counting continues this long after an election. The late, great Eddie Guerrero, if you don't know who he is, look him up, professional wrestler. He had a really good, a really good character back in the WWE back in the day before he sadly passed away at a young age. And, and part of his character was is that way he would lie, cheat, and steal. Well, only, someone could easily surmise that's what's going on in Pennsylvania, California, Arizona, among other states who have not fully counted their votes yet. I mean, the way to fix it, in my opinion, make election day a national holiday. Everybody has a day off. Voter ID. You got to have a license to drive. You got to have an ID to buy alcohol legally. So why is it so hard to have voter ID in every state? I mean, here in Florida, when you show up to your polling place, and this is the first time I voted in Florida, they take your ID, scan it, verify it's you, hand you your ballot, go to the voting booth and vote. Real simple. So here we go. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro has defended county election officials who have openly said that they would count ineligible ballots during a Senate race recount in violation of the state Supreme Court ruling. He said that the recount went on. Officials were confronted with the lack of legal clarity surrounding up undated mail-in ballots that caused significant confusion and put counties in a challenging legal position. This is real simple to fix. No more mail-in voting unless, it, unless you request an absentee ballot. And that ballot must be in no later than election day. Not postmarked no later than election day. It must be in no later than election day. That's how you fix that. The Bucks County Commissioner said she knew she was breaking the law by counting mail-in ballots that had been deemed ineligible, but that she intended to do so anyway. Okay, so openly breaking the law, openly ignoring a court order by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. I have a question. Why hasn't this person been 
arrested yet? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Shapiro ultimately backed the Supreme Court ruling, stating improperly dated ballots must not be counted, but also called back to what he sees as an inadequate law. How, how, how's it inadequate, Josh? I think they stated pretty clear that the ballots aren't in, postmarked by election day. They don't count. Both my predecessor and I have repeatedly called on lawmakers to deliver greater clarity on mail-in voting and due to certain legislative actors refusing to act on critical election reforms, this issue has been left to the courts. Well, first of all, this should never have been left to the, to the courts to begin with. Okay? This is a constitutional issue. And according to the United States Constitution, the state legislatures are the sole authority when it comes to election rules and election law. Time, place, date, how the election is run. That's up to the state legislatures. Seem to have forgot about that a few years ago. When these governors and secretaries of state decided to create election law out of thin air. But what do I know? I'm just a guy sitting here in his home office in Florida making YouTube videos. He added, given the lack of clarity, county officials in each of our 67 counties were damned if they did and damned if they didn't, likely facing legal action no matter which direction decision they made on counting. No, not unless it goes up to a um, federal appeals court and then the U.S. Supreme Court. Bucks County Commissioner Democrat Diane Ellis Marseille, Marseille, I can't pronounce her name, Marsalia said she understood that in Bucks County, the election board was breaking the law if they counted the ineligible ballots. I think we all know the, that precedent by a court doesn't matter anymore in this country. No, it only doesn't matter anymore is if you have a D behind your name. Sorry. But that's the truth. She said in regards to the ruling, people violate laws anytime they want. Really? So for me, if I vi violate this law, it's because I want a court to pay attention. They already have. They already ruled. There's nothing more important than counting votes. She added at the time, any insinuation that our laws can be ignored or do not matter is irresponsible and does damage the faith in our electoral process. The rule of law matters in Pennsylvania, Shapiro said. He went on to say it is critical for counties and both parties to respect it with both their rhetoric and their actions. He said he would continue to working to protect our democracy and the votes of all elig eligible Pennsylvanians. There we go again. Got to protect the democracy. Well, at least he said all eligible Pennsylvanians. On Monday, the court reaffirmed the decision in a 4-3 vote and said Bucks, Montgomery, and Philadelphia counties must not count the ineligi ineligible ballots. The court ordered that all counties, including the boards of election of Bucks County, Montgomery County, and Philadelphia County, shall comply with their prior rulings of this court, in which we have clarified that mail-in and Epstein ballots that fail to comply with the requirements of the Pennsylvania Election Code shall not be counted. How is that hard to understand? for purposes of the election held on November 5th, 2024. You know, there was also a, a ruling by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals that kind of outlined this too, about ballots received after November 5th aren't eligible to be counted. Hmm. Wonder if anybody's violated that. A recount between Casey and McCormick has been ordered. McCormick has been projected to be the winner of the U.S. Senate race in the Keystone State. Casey has refused to concede and has insisted on the recount. You know, I have a sneaking feeling what's going to happen here. 
is similar to what happened way, way, way back in the 90s when Al Franken was in a race against Senator Norm Coleman at the time. Norm Coleman was projected to win the election until after election day because in the state of Minnesota, they were still counting ballots. They found a box of ballots in the trunk of a car in a junkyard that just happened to be 100% for Al Franken. Hmm. How's that always seem to happen? So there you have it. There's what's going on in Philadelphia, or I should say in Pennsylvania, but it's also going on in Nevada, California, Arizona, and other states across the country that can't seem to get all their ballots counted on election day. So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.